So in this video, I'm going to be finding the equation of a reciprocal function from a sketch. Uh, now, this is a pretty poor sketch that I've done earlier. You can see here's my sketch, and I'm going to write it in the form a on x minus h plus k. Now, a few steps here. Step one, look at the asymptotes. Boom, boom. Look at where they meet. That's going to be my h and my k value. So h equals negative 5, the opposite of whatever that is, and k equals 1, exactly what that is. So within two seconds, I know that f of x equals a on x um, minus 5 plus 1. Now I need to sub in a point because if I know y and I know x, I can find a. a is the only unknown left. So, sub in a point. Luckily, I have a point here marked. It's the y-intercept. It could be any point that you're given. You could be given an x-intercept. You could just be given a random point somewhere, but as long as I have a point. So, sub in a point. I'm going to sub in the point 0, 7. So, that means that in f of x equals a on x minus 5 plus 1, 7 is the y value a on 0 minus 5 plus 1. Solve that for a, so the plus 1 moves over to here. 7 minus 1 is 6. a on negative 5. That's going to be 6 times negative 5 equals a. That means that, round our space, negative 30 equals a. Okay, so I just came up with this function in my head, so I'm not surprised that we're getting some a strange number here. The answer to this question is f of x equals negative 30 on x minus 5 plus 1. Uh, one last thing that you really want to note here is that the a value is negative, and if we look at our function, that's not surprising because the sketch is in the second and the fourth quadrants. All right, that's uh, finding the equation of a reciprocal function if you're given the sketch.